Welcome to this presentation on the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud and the Adaptive Intelligence Supply Chain. I don't think that there's ever been a more exciting time in supply chain. The status quo is being disrupted from all sides. Disruptive technologies driving disruptive business models, driving IT disruption. It's a perfect storm enhanced by our own version of climate change, the digital transformation. In this presentation, I will share with you our motivations, capabilities, and aspirations for the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud and how it will help you harness this digital transformation to the benefit of your business. So let's begin. As I noted, we're in a time of unprecedented change, driven by new and disruptive technologies, new business models, new approaches to IT. The businesses and supply chains that underpin them are undergoing a rapid digital transformation, and CEOs know it. However, the majority of chief supply chain officers, the people who have to actually implement these changes, recognize that their digital transformation projects are not aligned. Whether this is due to the disconnected nature of their underlying systems, the inability of their current platforms to leverage and deploy new technology, or the lack of capacity to drive business process change, the result is the same. So it's time for a new approach. The solution? You must leverage innovative processes and technology advancements delivered on the cloud to transform your supply chain for today's digital world. It is this combination of process change, technology, cloud, and transformation that will keep your company competitive. We're going to walk through a set of capabilities in the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud that enable this transformation, connecting the digital thread all the way from an idea to a delivered product. Here are just some of the ways that the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud is new and different. Best practice processes designed for today's digitally enabled world. Architectural flexibility. As the world changes, so can these applications. Best practice, yes, but adaptable and flexible too. Exceptional user experience with new, innovative, graphical ways to display, navigate, and manipulate data. Applications that are a pleasure to use. Manufacturing processes for today's multi-enterprise manufacturing world. Manufacturing for the fourth industrial revolution. And planning to match that too. Fully integrated demand and supply planning matched with exceptional in-memory performance and an intuitive and powerful user experience. Full lifecycle PLM with support all the way from idea generation to end product commercialization and all integrated with other aspects of the supply chain. Omnichannel order to cash that can integrate your existing capture and fulfillment systems into a single seamless customer engagement experience and can also carry the load for all aspects of those flows too. Finally, integrated logistics, bringing together best-in-class transportation, global trade, and now warehouse management with our Logfire acquisition, either with a value proposition on their own, but as also as part of your overall digital transformation. And because this is cloud, you can take advantage of our constant innovation. Here's what we have delivered in release 13, generally available now and already deployed in several hundred customer environments. Broader, new capabilities to collaborate, to manage quality, to maintain assets, and to run a complete quote-to-catch process. Deeper, a dramatic expansion of supply chain planning with three new planning applications and also a comprehensive genealogy and install-based system. Better, numerous expansions across the board, from new navigation to a new shopping experience and more mobile applications. All in all, six new products and over 200 major enhancements. And because it's cloud, these will be available to you automatically, as and when you need them. Let's look at some of these in more detail. Let's begin by looking at the heart of any product company, the innovation to commercialization process. We have further expanded capabilities in each of these key phases, 
innovate in innovation management, develop in product development, and commercialize in Product Hub, so that now the solutions are truly best in class in each of their areas, but more importantly, they deliver the integrated experience required to digitally transform the entire process. Innovation management and the new products it generates is a critical input to our next new product, Sales and Operations Planning. Sales and Operations Planning is a completely new application that combines aggregate planning with process management, so that the collaboration process, so critical to successful SNOP, is embedded within the tool itself. And while SNOP may operate standalone, it can also interact with our next new application, Demand Management. This delivers capabilities equivalent to those of Demantra, but in the same easy-to-use graphical user interface developed for Planning Central. Supply planning can also interact with SNOP and delivers best-in-class, highly responsive, yet easy-to-use supply planning capabilities. This is a powerful one 2 three punch, leapfrogging the competition and setting a new standard for supply chain planning capabilities for today's digital age. Hey John, it's Matt at Vision Technologies here, where innovation is core to our business. We're developing an awesome new product, the Vision Flexible Tablet, all with the help of the Oracle SCM Cloud. We use Innovation Management Cloud to ideate and develop successful product concepts. As we look at the summary of recent product ideas and contributors, some of which came in through the new mobile app, we can see that tablet-related ideas are by far the most popular. Let's take a closer look at them. There are lots of ideas for tablets, including solar and holographic ones, but the flexible tablet is the most promising, so we'll take it forward with a formal product proposal. The Vision Air flexible tablet combines the advantages of a rigid iPad with the convenience of paper. The proposal includes details of the project, financial performance, and projected milestones. We can also look at the portfolio view to see how this project fits into our overall revenue plans over time. Looking at the flexible tablet in the context of our overall product portfolio, we can see that it would contribute strongly to our future revenue. Okay, good to go. Let's save the proposal and related portfolio. Time now to think about making the Vision Flexible Tablet a reality. Introducing a revolutionary new product like this will have a big impact on our business plan. So we use Sales and Operations Planning Cloud to see the before and after effects on the new product. The flexible tablet cannibalizes some of the demand from our older tablets, but captures significant new market share. It enables us to meet our increased revenue goals while improving margins. Initial demand is strong and we have several early hot orders that we need to fill before the holiday rush. Switching to the supply review, we can see that while additional capacity is in place to start the production, demand is pushing production resources and supplier capacity to their limits. On the bottom, we've shown only the quarters and items that are over 100% of capacity. The challenge is in the startup. We must ensure that there are no delays in initial production. That could be challenging considering the innovative nature of this new product. Let's switch to the production plan. We can see all of the planned orders by period and product. The Vision Flexible Tablet is in yellow. Let's look at the details. And now we can check the required supplies and demands and review the recommendations that supply planning has made for us. It looks doable, no major exceptions, so we can make this plan work. So let's release the planned manufacturing work orders, transfers, and purchases from supply planning to execution so we can begin production. And we're off to the initial production run of this innovative new product. Thanks, John. Back over to you. Change. It's an ever-present fact in today's digital world. Much of that change is driven by new and disruptive technologies that offer further opportunities to digitally transform your supply chain. So let's have a closer look at those disruptive technologies and what they mean for the supply chain and how Oracle is delivering them as part of the SCM cloud. Let's start with perhaps the least understood, but potentially the most important, 
blockchain. Mark Andreessen called blockchain one of the most fundamental innovations in the history of computer science. And Klaus Schwab, founder and executive chairman at World Economic Forum, called blockchains the heart of the fourth industrial revolution. So what's the big deal? Blockchains provide a method by which any transaction between parties in a network can be shared across the network, ensuring no single point of failure and in such a way that enforces the validity of the entire transaction thread. So it's not just for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. It's not even just for financials. It can be used for any system that requires security, verifiability, and multi-party collaboration and access. Sounds like supply chains to me. So what's happening at Oracle with blockchains? In the recent 2017 Oracle Open World, there were over 20 sessions on blockchain and it was featured in several keynotes. First, Oracle is delivering a platform as a service capability called the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service. This will allow you to build your own private or public blockchain solutions. Second, there are initiatives on specific use cases for blockchains in ERP and supply chain. Finally, in supply chain, we are looking at opportunities to leverage this technology. Two specific areas are layering blockchain on our asset tracking and genealogy applications, which were also new in Release 13, as well as Blockchain with Collaboration Messaging Framework, or CMK, which would provide a generic method to transform existing supply chain management transactions into blockchain transactions. Which takes us to IoT, or the Internet of Things. Over 50 billion devices will be connected by next year, creating 8 zettabytes of information, and it's projected to be a $3 trillion total market. So it's for real, it's generating masses of data, and the companies that can detect the important signals in that data, correctly decide the right course of action, and then act, will be the ones that will benefit from this. Oracle has already delivered IoT applications for asset monitoring and production monitoring with fleet monitoring, connected worker, and services monitoring on their way. These applications leverage Oracle's big data and predictive analytics IoT cloud platform to connect to devices, analyze the data, integrate with cloud applications, and to continuously learn. The key point to emphasize is that, is that all of these applications combine the ability to not only collect the data and detect the signal, but also to decide the best course of action based on predictive and machine learning techniques. And then, and most importantly, to act by invoking automatically the right function in the associated cloud application or applications. They connect the digital thread between signal and action. So, for example, a stream of data from a production machine is collected, analyzed, and an anomalous pattern is detected. The system then determines that the right course of action is to dispatch a maintenance technician and to perhaps raise a quality event. And that course of action is triggered in the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud, and so on in other application areas. Yes, the Oracle Maintenance Cloud, also new in Release 13, a comprehensive solution to define maintenance work jobs, resources, materials, and assets, manage and execute those jobs, and of course, track and cost the activity. And to do that, whether the work is initiated by IoT Cloud or manually, another great addition to the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud. In a way, IoT applications are themselves an example of big data, AI, and machine learning. But there are many ways that these new disruptive technologies, which collectively we call adaptive intelligence, will impact supply chains. Let's have a closer look. We plan adaptive intelligent applications in smart manufacturing, the ability to analyze big data to uncover patterns and optimize decisions, planning segment optimization, automating the discovery of the best way to frame your planning analysis or segmentation. The result, better planning results, easier adaptation to changing markets, 
and less reliance on scarce skills and knowledge. Improving the effectiveness of transportation planning engine by using machine learning techniques to auto-tune the settings. And this is just the beginning. Almost every area of supply chains, indeed all business processes, will be impacted by AI and machine learning. Finally, let's look at three more areas of disruptive technologies. First, the model-based enterprise and the digital twin. These create a digital representation of a product or asset that can be used to simulate behaviors. Next, 3D printing. Take the digital model and go straight to production using next generation 3D printers. Finally, augmented reality, where information from the digital twin can be overlaid on top of your view of the object in question. Hey John, it's Matt at Vision here again. As you know, meeting our initial production schedule was critical to our new product launch. So we implemented IoT production monitoring for our initial test runs. It's a great system that lets us track everything in real time. And it's just as well because we have a problem. Here it is in red. Clicking on the highlighted exception, we can see that IoT production monitoring has detected excessive vibration. Let's look at the incidents. If I drill in the incident further, I can see details of the problem. Using its built-in predictive analytics, IoT has projected an 80% likelihood of defects in the next 24 hours. Considering the imminent impact on production, it's also taken action. It's already created a maintenance work order for the machine and raised a quality issue for the product. Let's follow the maintenance technician as he investigates this issue on the shop floor. IoT Asset Monitoring Cloud's augmented reality capabilities allow us to detect and to monitor sensor readings on the shop floor. As we appoint at each device, we can see the readings that are associated with it. Here, we can pinpoint the source of the vibration by pointing at the mounting machine, and you can see it in red on the right. Let's think what we can do about this. Whatever it is, it has to be quick. The solution is to design and print plastic carrier brackets that can temporarily hold the screens in place during the application of the adhesive. These will also be designed to cushion the part from the vibration. Normally, this would take several days or more to manufacture, but fortunately, Vision has access to a carbon 3D printer. After quickly designing a mount, it can be sent directly to the printer without delay. We can print enough carriers to manage the initial production run. These should do the trick, at least for our initial production run. Now that that's underway, we'll update our manufacturing work definition to mount the partially assembled flexible panels in brackets prior to the application of the adhesive and remove them for reuse afterwards. The screen carrier has been added to the build materials. We can now select it and associate it with the screen mounting. It looks good. The new operation and part are in place in our work definition. That fixes the vibration issue, so the initial production run can continue, allowing us to meet our immediate delivery commitments. As we noted earlier, IoT may at some point determine that the right course of action is to raise a quality event. Well, that's another new application in Release 13, the Oracle Quality Management Cloud. This is a comprehensive quality solution linking quality attributes to the enterprise product record, allowing you to define quality collection plans, triggering those plans at appropriate points, analyzing those results, and raising corrective actions, such as changes to the work definition or product design. And quality management, like every application in Release 13, uses an innovative system of infolets to both convey information and to guide the user to the actions that matter most. And sometimes that means reacting to change. And companies that can react to change quicker, adjusting their production plans to changes in demand or supply, have a significant advantage over the competition. And that is why Oracle Supply Chain Planning Cloud has been designed to leverage in-memory technology 
to let you rapidly simulate the impacts of changes to select the solution that best optimizes your response to that disruption and then to respond by quickly putting that change into action. And response also means ensuring your logistics network is both integrative and responsive. The Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud can now deliver the visibility, optimization, and orchestration requirements that unify your logistics systems across the four functional pillars of order management, transportation management, global trade management, and new with release 13 warehouse management, all built for the cloud and working together to integrate the digital thread across your supply chain. Oracle Warehouse Management, or Logfire, is a highly functional, built-for-the-cloud, enterprise-class warehouse management solution that can handle the most complex warehouses, including those requiring high volume and automated material handling equipment. Already proven in scores of warehouses, with integration to Oracle, NetSuite, and other solutions, Oracle Warehouse Management offers a compelling value proposition by itself, but even more so as part of Oracle's suite of integrated logistics offerings and the overall Oracle Supply Chain Cloud. And IoT has a role in transportation too. The real-time transportation and fleet monitoring application is designed to allow real-time tracking of any shipment, regardless of whether it is in your control or even whether you even know this specific transportation asset in use. It delivers performance monitoring and predictive analytics designed to optimize your supply chain decisions. Hey John, we're not out of the woods yet. We got an initial test run through, but I'm worried the extra step has reduced our throughput and affected our margins. Have a look at those numbers in IoT, only 48% of our target. Here's our new quality management dashboard with all the information I need to manage the aspects of quality that are hurting us. I can see my open issues by age to take a closer look at the quality issue that IoT production monitoring raised so we can look for a better long-term answer. And sure enough, a new one has just been added by IoT production monitoring for the vibration issue. Let's see the details. Quality management has opened a corrective and preventative action to assess and determine the root cause and resolution, including all of the areas impacted. The quality team has worked with R&D to select an alternate adhesive that works better under current conditions, eliminating the long-term need for the mounting brackets. We'll need to create a change order to update the product with a new material specification. The change order is automatically related to the open issue and lets us group all of the aspects of the change, associating this with the CAPA, and here we can see the new adhesive change noted. In product development, we're going to revise the bill of material to use the new adhesive. Here you can see the summary of change where we have redlined out the old component and replaced it with the new. Now we've changed the bill of materials, we'll need to secure the supply and get it here ASAP. I'm going to use supply planning's ability to rapidly replan with the alternate bill of materials and trigger a planned buy order for the new adhesive, which I'm going to release immediately. With integrated processes and iterative real-time planning, changes like these that used to take days or weeks can now happen in minutes. I really want to make sure there are no hiccups on getting this material here. I've used transportation management to plan expedited shipping for this critical material. To ensure that, I would like to view my routing options. check them and I can see all the routing details and finalize the shipment. And with IoT fleet monitoring, we can track the shipment of the adhesive as it progresses through waypoints, whether or not it is on our truck or even without us knowing which truck it is on. Sure enough, IoT fleet monitoring is showing that the shipment will arrive an hour later than the expected arrival time. Let's see what's going on. It looks like the truck has to take an alternate route due to an accident in Berkeley. Let's get the new ETA. 
It's almost an hour late, and we may not have the resources in place to expedite it from receiving to the shop floor. Let's see if we can reorganize to manage that. IOTM is linked to warehouse management, so this change is visible there. Within our warehouse management dashboard, we can see a summary of inbound shipments and appointments and dock door status, including this urgent one. The arrival updates to an hour later, and we can shift the warehouse resources to accommodate the change. In the warehouse, the receiving operator is ready to cross dock the new adhesive to the manufacturing assembly area so that it is ready for production in time. Checking it into receiving and cross docking to manufacturing all in time to start the new production process. So it's been a few days. Let's see what IoT production monitoring says about the new process. As you can see, the throughput problems have been resolved. We're now running at 93% of target, close enough to meet our goals. As you can see from this slide, the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud community is growing rapidly. Over 1,700 customers are already on their Oracle SCM cloud journey. And this is in all aspects of supply chain, including areas such as manufacturing and planning. And we are seeing that the pace is accelerating in terms of total customers, as well as breadth and scale of deployments. Carbon is a great example, a fast growing company who had outgrown their initial fragmented solutions and who were looking for a single platform to run their high technology manufacturing business. They determined that our cloud strategy was the most complete in the space. They partnered with Daz, who delivered a rapid deployment, less than six months from purchase to live, and they are now interested in other applications such as I IoT and Cloud PLM. This division of NCR is a similar story and an example of a large multinational company who are looking for a single platform on the cloud to service poorly served divisions who have antiquated systems. Using this experience, the objective is to expand to other divisions and to create a corporate cloud platform. Fairfield Nodal is an oil field services company who had to replace an inflexible, unsupported financial system and wanted a complete solution that also supported their full supply chain. The obvious choice was Oracle, where the strength of the Oracle ERP is matched by full function cloud supply chain management. This division of Rico uses a com combination of inventory order management and product MDM together with Oracle Services Cloud to provide services to hospitals that track the movement of medical staff and patients. The result fastest processing and service times and improved customer satisfaction, as well as an overall faster implementation time. This global supplier of pharmaceutical, biomedical and biochemical research products needed a full solution to support all aspects of its complex manufacturing and distribution business. It deployed multiple Oracle Cloud solutions from CX, HCM Financials, and of course, supply chain management, including order management, planning and manufacturing, procurement and inventory, all working together to handle increased volumes, increased accuracy and automation, and improve overall quality. Titan International is a multi-billion global industrial company in the automotive product space. They were looking for a complete cloud-based solution to leapfrog them into a modern next generation solution and to support their planned growth. They chose Oracle Cloud because of the completeness of its footprint, the embedded best practices, and the cost effectiveness and continuous innovation of the cloud. And it's a similar story with Vertiv, formerly Emerson Network Power. We are finding that new divisions, spin offs, or new ventures of large companies are concluding that the most cost-effective and long-term desirable approach is to choose Oracle Cloud Solutions. Office Depot is a household name that has also recently committed to the Oracle Cloud. 
as part of a restructuring of their business to compete effectively in their marketplace versus other office supply competitors such as Amazon. They are embarking on a three-year IT modernization project to migrate from mainframe and legacy systems to Oracle Cloud. Wolseley, the UK arm of Ferguson in the US, is a distributor of plumbing and heating products. They are restructuring their business to respond to new business models and competitive pressures and recognize that their existing systems won't cut it. They are incrementally deploying the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud to address immediate needs to gain improved inventory visibility and management with subsequent phases to support their overall restructuring of business operations. Aris, a $7 billion telecommunications equipment manufacturing company based in the UK, planned to use the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud to rationalize their current disconnected IT platforms and to create fully integrated solutions, joining that digital thread that would provide the scalability, flexibility, and performance it needs to grow its business. Again, they have selected a full set of Oracle ERP and Supply Chain Management Cloud applications. Wonderful Citrus, who put Halo Mandarins in countless lunchboxes, are part of the Wonderful Company, who have other iconic brands such as Pom Wonderful, Fiji Water, and Teleflora. They have grown and evolved rapidly, but have also outgrown their original 2006 deployment of EBS, finding that with their current processes, business was not able to scale cost-effectively. The choice was between upgrading and re-implementing EBS immediately and to do cloud later, or to go straight to cloud. They chose to tackle this once instead of twice and to leapfrog directly to cloud. Finally, Juniper Networks, a provider of high-performance network solutions that run the world's largest and most demanding global networks. They have an SAP ERP solution, but have found that siloed processes resulted in an inability to provide accurate delivery dates to customers. To solve this, they are deploying a broad set of Release 13 Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud planning solutions to address this challenge, while retaining, at least for now, their SAP backend. They are well on their way to meeting their goal of deploying this before the end of 2017. So these are just a handful of the over 1,700 customer stories and why they chose the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud. Your situation and circumstances may be similar or different, but given the broad ways that Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud can be used and deployed, we are confident that we can help you craft your own path to the cloud. And you can join many of those peers at the sixth annual Modern Supply Chain Experience, January 29 to 31, again in the San Jose Convention Center. Registration is open now, so stake your claim to be part of the best supply chain event in the country. Hope to see you there. For more information on all of the solutions and capabilities we have discussed in this presentation, please visit cloud.oracle.com. Thank you.